Hey everyone, Axel Rondo here, and welcome back to another episode of Fantasy Life. Where last left off, we were helping out. A, we actually we did a lot. We did. We were messing around with uh, the port, Port Puerto. Can't pronounce it for the life of me. And we were able to. A, we were able to like fix a lot of stuff that happened. We were able to do, just watch the left. So. <laughs> Anyways, in this episode, we're gonna be messing around with our lives, and uh, that's about it. Actually, uh, I, we haven't really done that we kind of been like just doing a lot of quests but we haven't really actually gone to the whole like lives thing like the objectives and stuff like that so i figured now that we've done a good chunk of the story i say a good chunk we've done like the little things like all the introductions to the main story we've done or not main we've done the the story pieces and we've done like a lot of the what was it uh the side quests for the story i think it's time for us to actually start um, going through like the little quests we have for like a uh, like the, the lives basically like the little objectives we got that way it'd be easier for us to do. So let's talk to Hey Hall. Ah, uh, today would be a fine day to spend in the forest. Anyway, how can I help you? Report, please. Oh, you're busy, haven't you? Let's see what we got. Ooh. Oh, I think we're gonna level up here. Not yet, really. Okay. Congratulations on making an apprentice. Seems like you're getting into the swing of things. All right, cool. Okay, now we could do the little things here and there. Like, uh, we could do butterflies quests. And we let's see, we have some. Yeah, butterflies requests. There's a lot of them for us to do. We could do this. I want to avoid this because as soon as we finish these up, we're going to start with the next... Um, with the next, uh, what is it? The next areas. So what we're going to do is we're going to go into the main woods and we're just going to go cut down like a crap ton of trees because that's what we're going to need to do. We're going to see if we can get to uh, what's adept for the woodcutter. And then, uh, we're going to start with like the mining, you know, stuff here and there. I know there's going to be some little things that we're not going to be able to do on screen. Like I, I really doubt you're all going to want to watch me cut down 50 trees in a single batch. So I'm going to avoid doing that off camera. I'll probably do that. Or I'm going to probably do that. Avoid doing <laughs> avoid doing that on camera and just like do it off camera. That would be easier for everyone. I don't want to be there like, oh yeah, just this is what we're going to be doing. 50 trees <laughs> for an entire episode. Um, unless you want to watch that. I don't know. I don't know. It, it may be soothing for some people. I, I don't know. <laughs> For now, I'll just do it like how we have it right now. And the first thing, we, I know there's a tree somewhere around here. There it is. And we got our lucky dog here, Billy. He's going to help us out. No, put your sword away. We're here to chop down trees. One, two, three. Ah, screw it. We'll just do it from here. Excellent. Hopefully, we get a... I'm trying to cut down these trees because there may be a chance... We'll get an elder log. That'd be really good to have. But it's not a big deal if we don't, because we still gotta go to that other region and get those pine trees. I, I just wanna see if we get one. Nope. 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 Oh, there it is. See. Now there's a chance. Nope. Just antidote berries. Which is good to have, because like there's a chance we get to oh, oh hello there, Mr. Dragon. Uh, there's a chance we could get poisoned from, like, doing random stuff, so it's better to have that safe than sorry. I wonder if it's gonna want us to, like... Hmm. Actually, let's get rid of these guys first. Because I want to raise... Oh, hey, look, our friendship rose with Billy. Oh, now we're doing some crazy damage. Nice! 10 EXP. Okay. So, this is the part of the game where we're just gonna start, like going and get random crap <laughs> i'm being serious this is this is what we're going to be doing for a bit because i really want to get uh these lives sorted out because if i just focus on the main story we're going to get to a point where like i'm not going to be able to do crap because the enemies will get stronger and if you saw me uh playing in the last uh in the last episodes when we were in the port like I kept getting my butt handed to me. At least I saw that, and I don't want to have I don't want to have that happen to me. So I'm gonna spend some time here, you know, just like getting some materials and stuff like that. You know, trying to show you uh, what like the other side of fantasy life, the the 
not necessarily the grind aspect, but more of like the exploration. Oh my gosh, we're getting checked by that dang rooster. But more along the lines of like the um, the farming meth, like the farming methods, because like I'm not gonna lie to you, the the difference or like different levels of this game is so interesting to me. For instance, the, oh, we're cutting wood. Like we're I'm cutting wood. Uh, a couple episodes ago, I was ooh level three. An episode ago, I was out freaking uh, fighting pirates. Now I'm here cutting wood and like hunting chickens, wild chickens, razor beaks. I think that's what they're called. Like, I like the this type of adventure when it comes to these games because it's always something uh, new. I, I always feel like I'm never bored playing this game because there's always something for me to do, whether it be story driven or whether it be like, oh, today I'm gonna go. Um, farm materials or some sort. There's always something that like will pique your interest, and that's uh, honestly kind of the reason why I chose this game to do because there it's filled with like so much adventures, and it's filled with like so many different little tasks for you to do. And it's what was that? He just started running like crazy. And it, it, it's just to me, it's just filled with adventure. I know I've I've talked to several people. And they said that this is one of their favorite games of all time. And to me, it's high up there. Um, of course, like I have my own favorite games that I haven't really talked about here on this channel. Mario being one of them. Screw you. And, uh, oh, no, 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 no. You're not going to mess with my dog. Oh, yes. I'm a lot stronger now than I am. My powers have doubled since the last time we fought, Mr. Panther. Aha! I'm so good at this game. Good job, Pooch. Let's go turn this bad boy in. Get ourselves some Dosh. Special Dispatch. Would you like to take a look at the Black Panther? 450 Dosh. Give it to me. Yay. Okay, like I was saying, like, yeah, there's some, like, this game is on my high top list, like, but I have some games that I, like, personally to me are, like, my number one, um, my number one I really lost my train of thought. My number one, uh, like my games list, like, uh, of course, Mario 64 is my number one game because I love that game to death. It's the very first game I played. And other than that, I'm a big fan of other games that, like, I've played throughout the time. RPGs are, like, my biggest, um, like, my biggest, uh, my take. Like, I, I love playing RPGs. They're so much fun to me. One of my favorite series is to play is Digimon. Like, I, I love playing, like, the Digimon games. The DS games were, like, my favorite ones. I know there's, like, other ones, like Cyber Sleuth and uh, World Next Order and stuff like that. And those were fun. I, I love playing those. Those were really cool. But I like the simplicity that, um... Oh, there's a cave here. I don't think we've ever been here. I like the simplicity of, um... What's the word? Of, uh... Like, the DS games, or uh, Dawn, Dusk, and stuff like that. And, like, it, they're just so much fun to play because, like, they... they I'm, I'm the type of person that, like... I, I love farming in in uh, video games like for instance I love to raise my Digimon to like stupid high levels because like it's always fun for me to see oh no my dog okay this is actually a good thing to see um, you see that our dog went down so what you want to do is get close to him and heal him up now you probably saw that there was a time limit near uh, the dog what happens if you uh, miss the time limit is that um, if you miss the time limit and if it happens to drop to zero, they will return back to the house, and their friendship will drop slightly. So keep that in mind when you're uh, adventuring out with different. Oh, well, looks like our our work is not appreciated here. <laughs> keep that in mind when you're exploring people. You don't want to reduce their friendship. Remember, the higher the friendship, the better. Maybe in this episode, I'll take time to build actual tools, bronze ones at that. I'll raise my blacksmithing up. Yeah, yeah, I think we'll do that. I'm not fighting you again. Uh, is there any more pine trees? I'm hoping there is more pine trees over here. I know there's an elder one somewhere up here. I need to be careful because there's a... Okay, fine, fine. You want to fight? They want to fight. Oh, I got two of them. Uh, I lost my train of thought. Okay, so, like... <clears throat> I love playing like the Digimon games because they're so much fun. Like, uh, I like raising my Digimon up to like level 99 with like 999 stats and then just being going like crazy. Like, ah, you can't stop me. 
it's fun to me. Like that's that's my like my pastime when I have free time to do, and I'm like, oh yeah, I want to play a crap ton of Digimon because it's fun. I love it. Yeah, I never get bored of it. I, like I'm I'm the type of person that will, when I'm farming in games, I could farm for like, oh wow, level twelve. Ooh, an Elder Pine log. Does that count? Does that count? Please tell me that counts. Distractions, distractions, distractions for old Axon Ronder. Uh. Yes, that counted. Yes. Okay, one more. One more. Oh, I'm so happy. What is this monolith? This moment, monument commemorates the achievements of the indubitable crown champion. Greetings, traveler. Although I have mastered every life, but I have but this one piece of wisdom to share. Enjoy your life. Don't take it too seriously. Harvest mushrooms, pick uh, puffs, and get a taste of each life. Sincerely, the indubitable crown champion. Gladstone, Gladstone the third. Nice. So. Oh, gorilla. It's not mess with them. So, like I was saying, um, I like doing that because it's just like going through the game is so much more fun. <laughs> like to to me, uh, going through the game is like so much fun, like, knocking them every, everything down like um in one hit. Plus, it's a lot more uh, convenient for me. Leather gauntlets. Leather gauntlets. I could have gone in here and gotten some. Okay, there's the. I think this is no. Where's the elder pine tree? somewhere here. Thank goodness you can move your camera out like this, otherwise I would have been screwed with that giant over there. I don't know if I could fight him yet. I don't want to piss him off just yet. We'll piss him off after we finish cutting these trees. How about that? Get our chance to build his friendship rose. Thank you, Billy. I wonder if we'll be able to cut those trees Um, because we're near the... where are we? We're near this place. Okay, we'll go there right now. Other than Digimon, like, another games that I like playing. Like, uh, I'm trying to think, like, what's, like, my top games that I love playing. I'm actually, like, a real big fan of also the Fallout games. RPGs are, like, my, my main things. I love playing RPG. RPG games because they're so much fun. I love building characters and stuff like that. Especially, like, uh, another game that I love playing, uh, like, shoot on a regular basis when I can't uh, like when I can is Fallout I'm a big Fallout fan it's so much fun to play I'm trying to find it I think is there not an elder tree here well I'll, I'll find it on the meantime yeah so like I love playing Fallout like I think one of my first the first time I played Fallout I think was like what was the first one I played I played Fallout 3 and I played that um like my uncle lent me the game and I was like, oh, okay, give it a shot. So I, I played it and I was like, this is actually very fun. I love the whole aspect of like trying to, uh, like trying to, like uh, you start your character and uh, it's like a whole new adventure. Like um, for instance, you start your life, you do your life however you want, kind of like this, <laughs> but uh, you can either be good or bad or whatever. And it's really cool because like, when I, when I first played it, I, I, I hate being evil in video games, so when I saw that there was a chance to be evil, I tried, like, a moment of it where I was, like, I was mean to someone, and I was, like, I felt so, I felt sick to my stomach. I was, like, no, you know what, let's not do that. I don't want to be, I don't want to be evil. Being evil is bad, so I just reverted to saying good, and it's, it's honestly a lot more fun for me. I, like, I feel accomplished being, you gotta be kidding me. Okay, that's another tree we're not supposed to be cutting. Alright, let's see what we got in quest lines. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Hmm. This one's gonna be annoying. That's done. As a woodcutter caught a great pound on Mont Snow Peak. And then cash in the bounty. Wait a minute, Mount Snow Peak? Where's that? I'm, I'm, where am I right now? Most oh, certainly not Mount Snow Peak. This is Mount Snow Peak, isn't it? Snow Peak Summit. Okay, so apparently we missed the giant tree. I swear, if it's like somewhere where we least expect, or like, <laughs> I know for a fact it's like gonna be somewhere place where I'm like, you missed it. You like, you passed it three times. Yeah, I have a feeling it's it's gonna be something like that. Knowing my luck, knowing my luck. <laughs> but um. Yeah, Fallout 3 was, like, one of the first games I played, and it was, like, to me, it was stupid fun. And then, like, the one that, like, 
killed all my time. And I, I, I played it for hours and hours on end was Fallout New Vegas. That one was just crazy when I first played it for the first time because I, I saw a video of it and I was like, this is amazing. This is better than Fallout 3 in every aspect. And then I when I played Vegas, I was like, okay, how do we go from here? And I just, you know, you just start like messing around. And that's what I did. I just started messing around to the game and I was like, this is amazing. Because like you start off Good Springs and then you're like, you're like, okay, where can I go from here? You can go to New Vegas as soon as you want. And I was like, yeah, let's do that. So I started doing that and I got I got uh, trouble with the death claws. And I was like, oh, I'm in trouble. <laughs> so it was always something neat because like that was always something for you to do in those games. And like I, I, I played it multiple times because I was, I fell in love with it. The bad part is I, uh, I played it on my Xbox and... I know a lot of people are like saying right now, but everybody's played it on the Xbox. I, I didn't have internet at the time, so I didn't know about patches. Like, I thought when a game was released, it was done. Like, I was so used to, uh, like, uh, I was, I would always play like Nintendo games, so I would always assume that when a game is done, a game is done, you know what I mean? Like, older games, uh, like, they didn't need, like, patches and stuff like that, like, certain games now, Call of Duty, <laughs> but, um, I would always like, oh, there's a tree. I was always under impression that like, ooh, yeah, just uh, play the game and you'll have no issues. And then that's when I heard about bugs and I was like, what is a bug? And that's when I found out like, there was some, Fallout New Vegas had some like game breaking bugs and I was like, oh my gosh, this is horrible. Like how could someone play this without having to struggle? And I, and I came across the bugs here and there and I was like, it's not as bad as I thought. And uh, I kind of went along with my journey and uh, New Vegas. This was like my first playthrough, and like I got, I think I was like 17 hours in, and I came across a. Uh, oh, hold on, let me do this real quick. Special D patch, Great Pine, 150 dollars. Yes, thank you very much. Pine solve. Do I get the second thing? No. So I have to find it in the tree. Fantastic. That's fine. So, uh, I, I, I was playing the game, and then um, I came, I went to, uh, where was I? Nipton. I went to, yeah, Nipton. And I um, I discovered one of the, the powder gangers that was there. Where the hell am I? <laughs> ow, ow, I scraped my, ah, I scraped my elbow. I went to Nipton, and um, I came across this, I should not be here. I really should not be here. I came across this, uh, individual oh, like this dude here and he was like he was from the powder gangers and i was like what's that i didn't really oh ooh, 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 ooh. Just, just hit it i didn't know what it was and i was like oh, okay powder gangers that's that's pretty cool so um <laughs> i was uh i was messing around in there and then like i uh i got a quest called booted and i didn't know what booted was like i i was just told like oh just go rescue a bunch of powder gangers like okay um so i i went and uh, I went to the game. Uh, I went to go do the quest, and I was I came across like the the camp, and you had to fight a bunch of legionaries and stuff like that. What I didn't expect was like how uh, overpowered the legionaries were when I was in that area, and like what ended up happening was like I died. Like I, I just got like destroyed by a bunch of legionaries, and I came across my first glitch, and it was a game-breaking glitch that to this day I cannot do the quest booted because like I am scared I'm gonna break my game again granted like I play on the PC now and like there's mods that you can like patch the game to hell and back but it's still scary to me that it's 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 a thing so for instance I, I was playing and uh I, I was playing uh like uh let me explain let me finish the story there so I finished the quest and or I didn't finish the quest I died and I was um I was like you know what let, let uh I'll just uh, reload back my save and then I got this error saying like could not find downloadable content trees please choose your uh, new hard drive and at the time I was like what new hard drive I have only one hard drive and that's the one built in my Xbox so I was like what the hell is going on and eventually I ended up figuring out that oh it was a game breaking bug and I had to start all over again and like this is how this is how pissed off I was I speed run the game to the fastest of my abilities just to get to that part just to see if i could re replicate that glitch and i died of course and it happened again and i was like are you kidding me i was so upset at the time because like i dedicated so much time playing that game and i was like just to end it like that and then oh 
Oh. Oh, no. You know what? We're going to attempt it. And I, I, um, I just, like, went crazy trying to find, like, a solution for that. And I ended up finding out people were saying, like, oh, if you're having problems with your game, yeah, this is not going to work. <laughs> Consider, like, uh, installing the game on your Xbox. And I was like, installing? What does that do? And then I ended up finding out that, like, it helps with performance and stuff like that. And it should help out with, like, uh, glitches and stuff like that. So I was like, okay, uh, okay, we can do that. And then, like, I, I, I did that and... Fall in Vegas on the Xbox was notorious to have like long ass low, uh, low time. So I, when I saw that, it was reduced to a huge, huge, like it went from like, I think 45 seconds to like 20, 15 seconds. And I was like, that's, that's, that's an improvement for me. And then like, I, I was reading along the lines of like, don't have so many saves because it lowers the, uh, it reduces the, <laughs> the, um, like, the, it, it increases the lag time and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, okay. It was fun learning new stuff because I was able to, like, figure out everything that the game had in store for me. And I was like, this is great. I, I can just, like, just do this as many times as I want. So I, I um, not as many times as I want. I just, like, I just was figuring out all the little things that the game was offering for me. And it was so cool because, like, I was just having so much fun learning new things about the game. And that's where I started, like, learning more on the whole like wiki pages and stuff like that and uh oh uh oh i started more learning more about wiki pages and stuff like that and i was like this is so much fun because i'm able to just like read on everything and i was so i was able to follow the biggest like it, it got to the point where i just like read a crap ton of everything on the game because i wanted to make sure i avoided any quests similar to booted and i was like okay um I want to avoid that. And like, what was interesting was that I, at the time, because I don't think, uh oh, uh, at the time, I don't think anybody, I, I'm, I'm pretty sure people have got that issue too, but I haven't, I didn't, I searched videos on it, but I couldn't find anything related to my problems. And that kind of like just upset me because again, that was my first playthrough of the game. And I was like, man, I can't find a single answer to this. And I believe, honestly, I think that was the first spark that made me want to do uh, videos because I was like, man, I can't find anything that could help me with this. And I, it got to the point where I was thinking to myself, like, if I can't find something, I'd rather fix it and show people how to fix it themselves. Granted, I don't have my Xbox anymore, but like, it was something that was quite interesting. Eventually, I learned like the only way to fix it or a, a way to fix it was to uh, download the patches. So I was like, oh, shoot, I can't download the patches because I don't have internet. Eventually, like, uh, a couple months later, uh, about to keel over. <laughs> uh, I ended up getting internet, and I was like, okay, so let's download the patches. And I and I didn't know that the Xbox needed to update itself. Again, this was all so new to me. At the time, I was playing the GameCube and the Wii, and I didn't know they needed updates. And what was cool was that, like, when I started like updating my consoles, I ended up getting. I was able to get some virtual consoles for the for the Wii, and I was like, yeah, I'll be able to play Mario 64 again without digging out my old, without digging out my um. Uh, what is it? My, um, my Nintendo 64. So I was, like, so happy, like, just playing all these games on my Wii at a convenience. And then, like, when I got New Vegas up and running again, I noticed, like, the game improved tremendously with the patches. And I was like, this is amazing. This is the best experience of my life. So I was just so happy getting all that done. And then, like, what freaked me out was that, um, I, did, I still didn't do booted because I was like, I'm never doing that quest again. So I just avoided doing that quest entirely. And I was like, you know what? Let's um, let's uh, focus on some other stuff. So I just played some other things on the side. Uh, like, oh, not other things on the side. I just played the game and I just like, just uh, mess with it. And then I got to the point of the game that um, I got to the point of the game where I was like, I got to, I reached the max level because I just go around doing random crap throughout the game. And I would always farm the legionaries just to get a lot of money because they would drop like, if you're, if you're you had like a high repair and a high charisma barter, you can make like 8,000 caps. Hell, you can even make a lot more depending on what you do with the, the materials you get. So I would always like sell the materials and I would be like, yeah, I'm making a lot of money out of this. <clears throat> and eventually I reached the max level. And um, what sucked... Ooh, I'm going to avoid that because I know you're going to have to... I'm probably going to have to get that as a miner. So I'm going to avoid that for now. Is there no trees in here? I saw something big and scary over there. And I was right. So I was, um, 
Mm hmm. We're not supposed to go there. Okay, so I was just like, at the point I was like, okay, what? Do, like, um, I was already getting close to the end of the game, and I did eventually beat the game. And I was like, eh. Oh, I, I had fun with it, but I was like, I really wish I was. I wish level thirty wasn't the level cap. And I was like, man, I was like, I, I really wanted to play New Vegas more. So I was on the Xbox Store. That's the first time I saw it because I was like, you know what? I, I was on the. I always played the games on, like, uh, my Wii, and they it had a store. So does Xbox have a store? So I checked that, and I ended up finding that it had a store. And ow, ow, you asshole! <laughs> and I ended up finding out that uh, they sold something called uh, DLC for uh, f uh, Fallout, and I was like, what is that? And I ended up finding out. Of course, downloadable content, but I ended up finding out that you could actually add different stories for uh, New Vegas. And one of the stories was like Old World Blues, Dead Money, Honest Hearts, uh, Lonesome Road. And I was like, and, it, and it, like my biggest thing was like, it raises your level cap. And I was like, are you shitting me? It raises my level cap. So I was like, hell yeah, I'm going to do that. So I started doing that. And like I, I, bought the, I bought the DLCs because I think they were like, if I remember correctly, it used points. I think it used points. So I was just, um, I was just there like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just get a, I think it used points. No, the, the Wii used points. I think Xbox used actual money. Oh, and that's when I was introduced to taxes on the, on the consoles because like, uh, on the, on the, on the Wii, you get like, if it says the points, it says the points. So you're like, yes, nice. I have enough points. However, if for the, I think it was for the Wii U and for the Xbox, they introduced like you actually had to use cash. And the problem is that they, they had taxes, so it kind of would always make uh, like piss me off because I was like, I only had five dollars and now I have to pay five dollars and eleven cents. I don't have the eleven cents. What am I supposed to do? So I would always get upset about that. It was, it was funny. And um, yes, we ranked up. Ooh, adept. Ooh. Now we're stupid strong. X chopper technique, what's that? Nice job, Woodcutter, you made an adept. I have heard the local carpenters love your work. Keep it up, keep up the good work and keep that axe sharp. Nice. Actually, we're gonna do one more thing. Um, I wanna see how much we did for the, um, what is it, for the, uh, the, um, the miner. Cause I want to see if we if we've got a good chunk out of that done. It's changed my life. We're gonna go for the miner. Nice. Okay, and well then I'll finish. Well, I'll walk over there and then I'll finish my stories. So I got DLCs for uh, Fallout New Vegas, um, and I was like, I was like, oh man, I I. I don't want to play it again with my old save, so I was like, <gasps> let's start all over again. <laughs> so I started all over again, and I was just so happy because I was like, all right, I got the level, I got a level cap increase, I got the Gunrunner's Arsenal, I got everything, so let's like, let's go crazy on this. And and, and, I, and I did, I, I played through the game, and I got to, I think the first DLC I did was Old World Blues. Honestly, instantly, that or instantly that one was my favorite because I love the comedic aspect, comedic aspect of it. Like the the brains are so funny. Um, I think what, what was my favorite? Zero, Doctor Zero was my favorite because like he voiced the professor or the he voiced the dad in uh, Venture Brothers, and I was like at the time I barely was starting. Uh, I was like I didn't really watch Adult Swim, so I would watch it once in a while and uh, Venture Brothers was one of the show that I would watch and I thought like this, this is the funniest show I've ever seen so I love watching that and uh, when I found out that they were the same voice actors I was like that is incredible because like I didn't put two and two together that's when I started learning more about like pop culture and stuff like that and it was, it was just fun to me so uh oh hey there accident out mining huh what can I do for you report get your hands on mining come talk to me and I'll evaluate your oh yeah that's what I wanted to do is this all of it? Oh, no, it's not. That should be enough. Yes, it is. An apprentice. Oh, so close. Or breaker technique. Congrats, you're now an apprentice miner. Now that you're an apprentice miner, I'd say you probably outgrew the grassy plains as far as mining goes, huh? Get your comfortable shoes on a high tail to the Mount Snow Peak in Port Puerto. 
Okay, cool. So, I think we're gonna finish it there. I'm gonna do two more announcements, and I'm gonna talk about this one more one more thing. So I played the DLC, and then I had fun with it, and it was it was amazing. I'll talk more about it in the next episode because it's it is a it is a funny talk, and I, I do like uh, speaking more on like other games and stuff like that as we're doing this because it, it's it, I don't want to just sit there in silence as I'm mining. I rather have stories talking about either my past or what like what's going on, you know, stuff like that. It's a let's play. Anyways, in the next episode. I think what we're going to do is, before the next episode, I think I'm going to make me a brand new set of tools for everything. Everything. And then from there, we're going to continue on with like either mining and f and uh, wood cutting. We're just going to get ourselves uh, warmed up, get our, our levels increased, and see where we can go from there. Because I want to make sure we're able to uh, mine everything as efficiently and awesomely as possible. So, who knows? I may make them shorts. Like, just like start mining them and be like, hey, this is how you make a... An iron sword in fantasy life. Watch the video. <laughs> so that's about it. And I think we'll save the rest of this of my little story and for the adventures in the next episode. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you had a wonderful time exploring the world of Riveria with me. The world of fantasy life. In the next episode, we'll continue on with our little adventures and see where it takes us from there. So if you like this video, please give it a like. If you're new to the channel, please consider subscribing. There's bound to be some stuff on the channel that may pique your interest eventually. So you all stay safe and have a great day. Take care. Bye-bye.